Hello! Today I'm going to go and fix this uh, Hot Point Aquarius washing machine over here which stopped working. Um, probably the brushes, the belt's been checked. The belt works. Um, so I'm just going to whip out and test and replace the brushes. And that's what you'll see. It's not a complicated job. I've seen videos on YouTube where people pull these things out to take out off the belt, to take off the motor and all the rest of it. You don't need to do that. This is just uh, changing the brushes. I'm just going to disconnect this from the water. It's disconnected from the mains already. And I'm then going to pull it out and tip it on its side so I can get underneath. Right, there it is on its side. Brush there, brush there. Four Phillips screws. New brushes. So you've got two screw holes on either side. Both brushes are the same. And you have two lugs to locate. So when you push this in, you locate the lugs. You can then do other screws. Phillips screwdriver and magnetic retrieve lost screws tool. That's Which is quite important because they have a habit of uh, dropping off in nasty places. Try and avoid dropping them because you don't want to uh, have to fish them out. one brush out. I'm just going to unclip that. Easy way to do that. Get something to give it a prod in the right place. Where's my prodding tool gone? Oh, Misload it. Right. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a prod there. Shouldn't have that. I do need my pudding tool. Right. So I'm going to pull that, push it in there, pull. It's a bit irritating. Let me get my. Uh, there we go. And you can see new brush, old brush. That is clearly the problem. Right, let's get the other brush off here. It's a little bit fiddly to. Uh, to what I, you can do is take a picture before you start so you can see all the. Um, See where the screws are, and I will put a picture of that up. And then you just have to remember where they are. Now the advantage of taking these ones out is if these ones drop, they just drop down at the bottom of the washing machine and they're easy to retrieve. You don't have to worry about those ones so much. Let's see if I can just turn that extra
And there we have that lead. Pull out of that clip there. And you can see how heavily worn that is. Completely uh, worn out. Let's give that a hard push in there. New brush, so if I'm just going to take a picture, I'll just put it up on the screen so you can see where the lug holes are. Okay, so this one, when I just clip that cable back in there, keeps it nice and tidy. This is obviously the mains in. We then need to get a little bit fiddly, push it up against the commutator, see if we can find those lugs. Be careful not to break the brush, that would be embarrassing. Let's see what I might do the top one first because then I can see what I'm doing a bit easier. Stick the top one in first. Oh, that's it, hold on. There we go. I'm getting in the wrong holes. Right, so that's the top one in. Screw on. I think you want to put the top one in because then you can see the angle of the other one's got to go directly opposite. I'll come back and I'll put the other screw in in a sec. Right, so I want that one to be like that. A little bit of fiddling around, and as soon as you find the lugs, it'll just drop straight on there. So let's get that one screw in there. Fiddly to find a screw hole, because you can't see what you're doing. But again, once you find it, the screw will just pop straight in. Get that done up. They don't need to be excessively tight. This is the awkward one because if it drops it's going to be a pain to find, or at least you're going to have to fish it out. And I think it appears to have gone straight in. Hurrah!
disconnect that the last wire. That's that. Right, so now we're just going to go and flip this back up, connect up the water in the mains and see it running. And there we have it. Let's just see if this thing... Uh, I see uh, right, it up on there. Ta-da! It wasn't doing that before. The motor now works. The washing machine works. So, thank you for watching. That's how you fix it, no need to take the motor off, no need to take the belt off, no fiddling around, just a bit awkward getting at the screws. Thank you for watching, please like, share and subscribe. <laughs>